Tar Camel. My name is Sarah. And I'm Josh. Josh and Sarah. Welcome to the eighth day of our Advent journey. And I'm excited because it's almost Christmas and we have some fun snow coming. I'm glad you can join us on the eighth day. Let's start now. Okay, let's start this. First up, the North Pole Communicator. Everyone's there, speak right up. I think press it's Santa. Introduce yourself, then press the button again. I'm Josh and Sarah. Hello there. This is Santa Claus. What it is to hear children laughing and playing with their friends. And what do you think makes you a good friend? I'm nice to my friends. And my classmates nice to my me too. It sounds like being a good friend comes very naturally to you. Uh. Oh, speaking of good friends, it looks like good old Boingo Biddlebyer is leading the Guild of Bounce and Spring with some very big crates of toys. I'd better go help him. So long, kiddo. Bye, Santa. Now it's time for the Evan Calendar Toys. So let's see where number eight is. are my cards now. I got two more pieces of track so now I have a bigger track for the cards. Starting to look complete. All of our advent calendars look complete now. Guys, see you next week. But there's 17 more days to go. We'll see what's inside of the next 17 days. Now it's time for the advent calendar box. Let's see what's in number eight. I'm excited. What's this? Elsa in charge. Wait, Elsa or Anna? Elsa. Elsa in charge? I mean, Anna. Anna in charge! She looks like she's having trouble. Because here's the queen now. Queen of, wanna, queen of um, Anna look, and Queen of Elsa. Okay. I'm <laughs> excited! So, um, don't look at the pictures yet, so you'll still be excited later because we're not reading it yet. Okay. Stay school, yeah? Okay. And oh, now, let's see what mine is. Oh, yeah, yours is nice. Same spot, like, mine is. Um, let's see what mine is. Tomorrow will be no. Spider-Man, hunt for Black Panther. Looks like Spider-Man's taking a selfie. 
was Black Panther and they look like they're getting eaten by two tigers. <laughs> we're excited for these books, but we're not reading it now because they're not Christmas stories. I'm like, boy, I think that's why Anna is in charge because Elsa went somewhere like like their friends or their castle. Because we'll we're gonna see you later. Since Christmas is about the birth of Papa Jesus, it is right that we also prepare a place for him to be born. Each night, Sarah will help us prepare the manger, and on the midnight of the 24th, we will put out the baby Jesus in the manger to remind us that he is already born. May this be a meaningful preparation of Advent for all of us. Tonight, we're going to put the candles. Did you know that you can find camels in deserts like Bethlehem? And there's also transportation there. Thank you, Sarah, for helping us set up this manger. And we'll see what preparations we we'll have tomorrow. Now, we're moving on to the next portion. The Advent Gift of the Day. <gasps> Yay! I think this is Sarah's favorite. No, Kuya. Oh, oh, they are my favorite. Okay. I'm decorating a book. Um, I like the books when you read it and sing. <laughs> Come on, let's open it. Gifts are here now. Let's feel what we can feel inside. And oh, yeah, okay. yes. As for that, it can be old. It can be new. It can be expensive. It can be cheap. It can be old. It can be new. It can be from mommy and daddy. It can yeah. be from somebody else. As long as it reminds us of the gift that God gave to us, Papa Jesus. Let's go! Let's feel it. Let's see. Okay. I got some slippers! Sort of feel it has a weird shape. I just said. Let's see what's inside. Oh, but what happened? Magic, <laughs> magic. Come <laughs> It was already coming out. <laughs> what's the next one? Is it a house? I got another house. And I got some slippers. It's a church. It's a church. I can wear these now. I got a post office, a church. There's another one. Oh, this is. And we have. I'm guessing this one's a house. A house. And this is a market. Top market. Dog. I think we can use this for our Christmas tree. When we put it up, and I can we used to put up a lot of these to. underneath the Christmas train. So it's like there's a Christmas train passing by the entire village, passing through the entire village. And guys, I can wear these for upstairs when I wake up or when we go to nighttime. But Thank you, mommy and daddy. Love you. And and we had to watch our another one so you can. see Oh no, we don't. Now, let's see where Henny and Randy are. Me, Our I'm elves. Started. Okay, there's a long story. A little bit. Well, long is short. Um, I think they did it in Earlier, we checked that they weren't in the tree. And, and after that, I was going back to school and I went to my dad and I saw I found a white Christmas tree. We'll show you what they look like we did. And when I looked at the window, I saw a reflection of the tree. I thought, some of the lights aren't working. I looked at the tree and I saw the elves. We're going to show you now. Henny's at the bottom and Randy's at the top. 
Randy looks like he's looking through the Merry Christmas ornament. And he's trying to carry his candy cane. And, that, and I'm at the bottom. And I think at I'm the looking it and trying. And I think it looks like eating it. It's eating a lollipop. And while he's trying to, while she is trying to eat the lollipop, it looks like she hung her candy cane. Randy and Annie, can you tell Santa that we've been good today? Mostly. And we'll see what you're gonna be up to tomorrow. And we're gonna hunt you. Like a scavenger hunt. <laughs> Now it's time for the activity of the day. Yeah, I'm excited. Do you remember the activity yesterday? Yeah. The okay. melty beans. Yeah. I'm excited, but we don't know what today is. Yesterday, Manny was here to help us, but, but today she's at work, so it's, it's go us. just going to be me and Sarah. And if we need help, we can ask help from Daddy. So let's see what the activity is, Sarah. Let's go. This side. Oh. Christmas train Polar Express. Oh, so we can watch this Polar Express. Polar Express train. Here are all of the trains that we got over the years. We have the Chugganuda, the Boscombe's Express, and the Polar Express. That's the Chugganuda I remember. There. That's a big thing. Let's go open it. We're going to be opening this one. We, cho we all chose it. There's the story. Let's just Mamita go. bought this when Sarah was born, and... It was going and it was Sarah's gift to me. Now, we're going to be reading our Christmas story. But since we assembled the train today and it was a Polar Express, we've decided to read the book, Polar Express. The Polar Express. Um, Polar Express, but not the, not the, not the. <laughs> Yeah. And here's the better one. Chug a choo choo. Chug a choo choo. <laughs> Okay, now we are reading the Polar Express from Jade Marcus. Two? No, there's no author. Yeah, the Polar Express. Oh. 
the, here's the uh, writer, Chris Van Alsberg. Alsberg. <laughs> so many lost pages. On Christmas Eve, many years ago, I lay quietly in my bed. I did not rustle the sheets. I breathed slowly and silently. I was listening for a sound, a sound a friend had told me I'd never hear. The ringing bells of Santa's sleigh. There is no Santa, my friend had insisted, but I knew he was wrong. Late that night, I did hear a um, sound, though not of a ringing bell. From outside came the sounds of hissing steam and squeaking metal. I looked through my window and saw a train standing perfectly still in front of my house. Friend. Oh, look, the same thing like in there. Yes. Looks like our Christmas It was train. wrapped in an apron of steam. Snowflakes fell lightly around it. A conductor stood at the open door of one of the cars. He took a large pocket watch from his vest, then looked up at my window. I put on my slippers and robe and tiptoed downstairs out the door. All aboard! The conductor cried out. I ran up to him. Well, he said, are you coming? Where? I asked. Why, to the North Pole, of course, was his answer. This is the Polar Express! I took his outstretched hand and he pulled me aboard. The train was filled with other children, all in their pajamas and nightgowns. We sang Christmas carols and ate candies with nougat centers as white as snow. We drank um, hot cocoa as thick and rich as melted chocolate bars. Outside, the light of towns and villages flickered in the distance as the Polar Express raced north. Daddy, I remember the song, Hot Hot Ho, I say, Hot Hot Ho. <laughs> <laughs> hot Hot Ho, you oh, got it. Coming. Soon, there were no more lights to be seen. We traveled through cold, dark forests where lean wolves roam and white-tailed rabbits hid from our train as it thundered through the quiet wilderness. And what? There are wolves. Forest? Yeah. Oh. We climbed mountains so high it seemed as if we would scrape the moon. But the polar, the polar express never slowed down. Faster and faster we ran along rolling over peaks and through valleys like a car on a roller coaster. Daddy, Daddy, keep going, you're going, growing, that's all I <laughs> The mountains turned into hills, the hills to snow-covered plains. We crossed the barren desert of ice, the great polar ice cap. Lights appeared in the distance. They looked like the lights of a strange ocean, ocean liner sailing of a frozen sea. There, said the conductor, is the North Pole. North Pole. So there is the North Pole. North Pole. The North Pole, it was a huge city standing alone at the top of the world, filled with factories where every Christmas toys was made. At first, we saw no elves. They are gathering at the center of the city. The conductor told us, that is where Santa will give the first gift of Christmas. Who receives the first gift of the first gift? We asked. The conductor answered, he will choose one of you. One of you. So who's gonna get the first gift? Is it me? 
<laughs> the first kiss will get the little boy. Mm, we'll see. Look, shouted one of the children, the elves! Outside we saw hundreds of elves as our train drew closer to the center of the North Pole. We slowed to crawl, so crowded were the streets with Santa's helpers. When the Polar Express could go no further, we stopped and the conductor led us outside. Daddy, but where are the elves? Over there. We pressed through the crowd to the edge of the large open circle. In front of us stood Santa's sleigh. The reindeer were excited. They pranced and paced, bringing the, the, the silver sleigh bells that hung from their harnesses. It was a magical sound like nothing I'd ever heard. Across the circle, the elves moved apart and Santa Claus appeared. The elves cheered wildly. He marched over to us and uh, pointing to me said, Let's have this fellow here. He jumped into his sleigh. The conductor handed me up. I sat on Santa's knees and he asked, Now, what would you like for Christmas? Young girl, what would you like for Christmas? Um, I want a, a Elsa makeup in the stuffed one. <laughs> oh, my dragon. Okay. I knew that I could have any gift I could imagine, but the thing I wanted most for Christmas was not inside Santa's giant bag. What I wanted more than anything was one silver bell from Santa's sleigh. When I asked Santa, when I asked, Santa smiled. Then he gave me a hug and told an elf to cut a bell from the reindeer's harness. The elf tossed it up to Santa. He stood holding the bell high above him and called, The first gift of Christmas! Yay! I think that sounds like the movie, right? Mm -hmm. a, clock struck, uh, the, um, a clock struck midnight as the elves roared their approval. Santa handed the bell to me and put it on my bathroom pocket. The conductor helped me down from the sleigh. Santa shouted out the reindeer's names and cracked his whip. Dasher, Prancer, Dixon, Common. <laughs> Who else? <laughs> His team charged forward and climbed into the air. Santa circled once above us, then disappeared in the cold, dark polar sky. As soon as we were back inside the Polar Express, the other children asked to see the bell. I reached out into my pocket, but the only thing I felt was a hole. I had lost the silver bell from Santa's sleigh. Let's hurry outside and look for it, one of the children said. But the train gave a sudden lurch and started moving. We were on our way home. Oh no. It broke my heart to lose the bell when the train reached my house. I sadly left the other children. I stood at my doorway and waved goodbye. The conductor said something from the moving train, but I couldn't hear him. What? I yelled out. He cupped his hands around his mouth. Merry Christmas! He shouted. The Polar Express let out a loud blast from its whistle and sped away. On Christmas morning, my little sister, Sarah, <laughs> that's where I got your name. Oh, that's where you got your name. <laughs> On Christmas morning, my little sister Sarah and I opened our presents. Wait, where's that name? Okay. Okay. On Christmas morning, my little sister Sarah and I opened our presents. When I looked as if everything had been unwrapped, Sarah found one last small box behind the tree. 
it had my name on it. Inside was a silver bell. There was a note, found this on the seat of my sleigh. Fix that hole in your pocket. Signed, Mr. C. Why is it Mr. C? Because it stands for is the first letter in his last name. Mm. So, Mr. I shook the bell and made the most beautiful sound my sister and I have ever heard. But my mother said, Oh, that's too bad. Yes, said my father, it's broken. When, I, when I'd shaken the bell, my parents had not heard a sound. And the and oh, but Daddy, I thought they're supposed to be like they're crossing the little thing. Oh, Here's... that's in the movie. They cross the eyes, but it's not that. Um, it's not like the movie. Oh, well, why there can't be a show in here and we can predict what happens? No. It's a book. They a... they added a lot of things in the movie. So. So that the book will be different from the movie. So we're still going to be excited to watch the movie. Right? What? Mm -hmm. Okay, you like the story? Yes! Now it's time for our Christmas trivia! Since we put our Christmas train under the tree, we have a good article from wonderopolis.org and it says, With Christmas just around the corner, you may be spending more time than usual staring under the Christmas tree. If there are packages piled up under the tree, it's sure a bet if there are children anxious to find out what's in them. If you're like some families, there might be more than just presents under the Christmas tree in addition to a tree skirt and a pile of gifts. Some families also engage in a long-standing tradition of assembling a toy train under the Christmas tree. Beneath the twinkling lights and amongst the packages, tiny tracks weave in and out and around the tree carrying old-fashioned train cars in an endless loop around a Christmas tree. So exactly what do toy trains have to do with Christmas and how did this tradition get started? Nobody knows for sure how the tradition of toy trains under the tree got started, but historians believe the tradition dates back to at least a hundred years. In fact, it probably got started in the early 1900s around the time when the manufacturer Lowenell began to produce the first electric toy trains. Lionel's electric toy trains were very popular. In fact, they became the focus of a new hobby, model railroads. Since most children were more familiar with trains than automobiles, toy train sets were popular requests for Christmas gifts. Upon opening a toy train set, assembling it to run under the Christmas tree was a natural thing to do. For many Americans, toy trains also evoked sentimental feelings similar to other emotions associated with Christmas. Christmas was a time when many people traveled long distances to reach home or see relatives. Most of these journeys would involve a train line Likewise, the nation's railroads were primary means of transporting packages all around the country at Christmas time. Over time, many families added their toy train setup year after year. What might seem to have started out as a simple Over time, many families added their toy train setup year after year. What might have started out as a simpler, simple circular track around a tree with a few train cars could eventually become an elaborate layout with multiple tracks as well as buildings. Some, 
families began constructing their entire holiday villages under the Christmas tree soon after Thanksgiving. Like we did. We have buildings, tracks, and a tree. Yeah. Some experts believe that this resurgence of toy trains might have to do with some of the popularity of modern entertainment that features trains prominently. From the Thomas train tank engine to the Hogwarts Express, from the Harry Potter books to the Polar Express movie, trains have made a comeback into the public's imagination. Train enthusiasts hope that interest continues to fuel a return to the time-honored tradition of old-fashioned toy trains under the Christmas tree. Did you like that information? Because I did. And this all came from the website called wonderopolis.org. And if you don't have your Christmas tree under the tree yet, you should put it today, maybe. Or if you don't have one, you can put it on your Christmas list. Now it's time for the movie raffle of the day. We're not going to be doing the raffle, but because we're going to be watching it while we're putting up the train. A Christmas, one of your favorite Christmas movies, Sarah. And now, with the train, Polar Express! <laughs> I know, that's one of your favorites. Daddy and all of them, both of us decided that when we do the activity Polar Express, that's going to be the movie that's going to be released. The Polar Express is a 2004 movie. On a Christmas Eve, a young boy embarks on a magical adventure to the North Pole on the Polar Express while learning about friendship, bravery, and the spirit of Christmas. The routine! What is it? Popcorn! Okay, I'll go get some. Thank you. Thanks again for being with us on the eighth day of our Advent journey. Please come back tomorrow as we continue to have our fun and excitement as we get closer to Christmas and Papa Jesus' birthday. If you like this video, please click the like and subscribe button down, down below, below and invite your friends to join us. And Merry Christmas to everybody. We'll have Thanks for watching. We wish you a Merry Christmas.